Well, good morning, good afternoon, uh, mi good midday, I should say, depending on where you are. We're so glad to have all of you with us today. With me um, is Don Thompson from Improving Birth, and this is Joy Burkhard with 2020 Mom and the uh, Mom Congress planning team. We're so glad you're on. We are recording today's session and wanted to uh, open up everyone's lines. We just have a few folks on so far. There's about eight of you, but we have about 40 people registered for this session and suspect that many of them will watch this uh, Q&A chat and uh, 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 find us online. We'll also be putting this on the Mom Congress website later. So I'm first going to turn it over to Don to say hello, and then we have a few things we want to walk through today. We're going to open up your lines for questions and answers and um, just a nice casual chat. So welcome everyone and Don, I'd love for you to say hello. Hey, good morning everybody. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's great. Don, tell us a little bit about Improving Birth and why you are excited to be part of the Mom Congress planning team and the Mom, Mom Congress event in DC. Sure. Um, so Improving Birth is uh, consumer advocacy working to improve maternity care in the United States. Um, we've been around for seven years now and uh, working towards number eight. <laughs> Hang in there. It's, it's, you know how it is running a nonprofit. It's never easy um, from a grassroots standpoint. But um, we are, you know, participating in Mom Congress this year because uh, I think that the thing that's become really clear is that uh, legislation has a huge impact on change. And we can be changing um, the minds and um, the processes uh, through other means, but also having it backed up by or for legislation is really important. And so we've got fully on board with advocacy days. Um, we participated last year as well. And um, this year, we're just thrilled to partner with you guys. That's great. Thanks, Dawn. Um, I thought it'd be fun to show everyone who else is involved in Mom Congress this year. And also to share that this is the fourth event in DC that we've had. Some folks are wondering, like, is this what I went to, you know, two years ago? Um, 2020 Mom, who is the host of the Mom Congress Coalition of Partners, um, including Don, and host of the actual event, uh, has hosted this event for, this is our fourth year now in 2019. And so we're glad to be expanding this partnership with many organizations. You'll see um, those organizations here on the website. Um, a few more are, are coming on board this week and there's just much excitement brewing about partnership and ability to do this work together. What you won't see on the website in terms of partners are trade associations for providers. And we love moms who are providers and want moms who are providers to join us. What we um, feel like is really important though is that this this event be limited to mom's voices and not provider needs. So we're not advocating for things that are important to providers, although we know that that's important for change as well. So um, you can see here um, many different organizations, Moms Rising, Postpartum Support International, Improving Birth, a March of Dimes, a Healthy Women, Every Mother Counts, um, and then several other what we call like boutique brands or influencers, Motherhood Understood, Mama Modaic, we have Shades of Blue, the nonprofit in Houston, Texas, that's doing really critical work um, for um, that community, which is, is tends to be African American and low income, and so excited about Kay Matthews and her work there. Mama's Voices is a new coalition funded by Merck for Mothers um, to bring mom's voices to the table around maternal mortality in your myth. Um, so just a really great group of what we again call influencers, boutique brands, and nonprofits. Um, if you know others that want to join us, uh, certainly everyone's welcome to, to be a partner and um, help promote the event. So we're going to start with, we'll open lines in a bit, but we're going to start with what we know you have questions about. Um, and first, um, want to, to share that this event is for all moms. You are not expected to have any experience. In fact, you're expected to be scared if you've never done any kind of uh, legislative mm -hmm. visit, um, because you wouldn't be normal, right, if you weren't scared to death. I was scared to death the first time 
I did that in California and felt like I did it with a pro and, and she was expecting a lot from me and I was really nervous. Um, so we first want you to know that, that nothing, um, nothing is expected of you. If you have, if you, ha especially if you haven't done this before, if you've done this before, we will lean on you, um, to support, um, new moms who haven't advocated before. And we'll talk about how teams are formed and how you can feel protected and safe and, and really, you you are given as much as you want um, in terms of what you're willing to talk about and share when we actually have legislative visits. So if you don't want to talk at all, that's okay. Um, this can be a time that you observe and you just say hello and introduce yourself. You don't have to do anything more than that. So we just want everyone to feel really safe and excited um, to, to be there. The only thing we ask is that you have a fire in your belly for change. And we know if you're on this call today or listening to the recording that you do, um, and that's why you're showing up because you're interested and you know you want to be a part of change. Dawn, do you want to share anything about your first time um, doing some advocacy sure. work? Sure. Like? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I mean, just hearing you is kind of making me giggle a little bit because really the first time was when we went to Sacramento to um, work on the legislation for the maternal mental health stuff in, up in um um, for here in California, and I had never done it before, and I was the only one from San Diego, and so I was going to all these meetings, and I literally had no idea what I was doing. You guys gave me a bunch of handouts, and were like, "Go forth," <laughs> you know. And I was, I was totally and completely unprepared, but I went, and I, but I mostly just dropped off paperwork. I didn't realize that. I should be having a conversation with the staffers that were at the front desk, you know? Um, so the advocacy day last year was huge. And, and quite honestly, I had never been somebody uh, really that interested from a legislative and you mean standpoint. DC, uh, right, Don? Because that's yeah. where you started to get. No, when I first going. went was when we, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year we went, when we went to DC. Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> And I just, I was still scared to death. And we had all these appointments set. But this time, what I loved about doing the advocacy day last year was that we were in teams. And so everybody that was from California all went together. And it was actually so much fun. And what was great was I, you know, we went to, I think, you know, 10 different visits. And we're, you know, bouncing around the, the capital everywhere and going from one building to the next, from one appointment to the next, and just having a great time. And and ultimately, the response from the staffers in each of these offices was really great. They were really engaged. They wanted to know, they wanted to hear the stories that we were able to share. And I, I think um, it makes it easy because that's it, is you get to share your stories. You get to share why you're getting behind this legislation. And, and so then it becomes easy. If you are passionate about making change in maternity care, this is, it's easy because you already have the story to tell. That's great, Dawn. Thank you for that. And we're gonna um, show all of you quickly where our frequently asked questions document is on the website. You can see that I'm scrolling if you're looking at the screen. I'm scrolling on the website. We want you to be um, familiar with the website. And uh, the FAQ is in a couple places but right here. Um, and hopefully everyone remembers what FAQ stands for. I didn't always know what it meant. But frequently asked questions. So I'm going to click on this FAQ right now. And um, we want to walk through these quickly and talk about a couple other things. And then we're going to open up the lines. But so. We just covered this point. I've never advocated for change with policymakers, and the, Scott, the thought of doing so scares me uh, to death. Um, that's good, right? Because you should be nervous um, because it is intimidating. And, and as long as you're interested in change, we want you here. So we've got you covered. So, so Dawn already talked a little bit about how this works. We actually put people in small groups. By state or region. So if they're small, if it's small states, and we've got maybe one person from each state, we'll group you together, and you'll go to your legislative visits together with a team leader. And what we want you to know is that the team leader will be trained on what our asks are. You do not have to be an expert. We want you to know about the bills, and we'll go over all of that on 
Monday, the first day of training, it's a three-day event. Um, Tuesday is the day that we go to the Hill, we call it, go to uh, meet with our legislators. So you'll be put in a team with a team leader. You'll get to meet everyone before we go um, on Tuesday. Um, you'll, you'll get to do a little practice session. And we have roles that each team leader will give to everyone, like who's going to be note taker. There's actually writing a thank you note. We'll ask someone to write a thank you note. So again, um, all of these things, you, you really get to pick what you feel comfortable with. And the team leader knows that no one should be pushed um, into doing something that they don't feel comfortable with. We want you to feel safe and secure and excited about going. Um, you can read a little bit more here on the FAQs about um, what that will look like. But again, um, we make it safe. We also are doing an advocacy 101 session in the morning for, for those that haven't come to um, a DC Hill Day event before and just want to get their bearings um, about how it's going to work and uh, uh, those kinds of things. It'll be a breakfast meeting. And it's kind of a nice, nice time to meet other moms um, in that breakfast meeting on Monday. So second question, I care about the issues of the 2019 Mom Congress which you can see here are improved medical and mental health care surrounding birth uh, and also um, better support in the postpartum period for moms. So really um, that perinatal period, we call it, right? Pregnancy and postpartum and doing a whole lot more than what's happening now, right? And different levers, including the policy piece and most importantly, the federal policy piece. So I care about those things, but what if I have more to say to my legislator? Is it okay? Um, and so we've actually talked through this quite a bit with some others on the planning team. Um, and folks really want you, if you're coming this way and you're paying for a flight or train a ticket or driving a long way, we want you to be able to use this time in the best way you see fit. We just ask that when you tell your story, it's kept to two minutes or less and um, that you focus on maternal child health. So we know a lot of mothers are sort of struggling with, um, with kids with special, special needs or um, mental health needs themselves. These are all things that make sense to share when you come to the ledge visit. We will focus our ask though on what the Mom Congress policy platform is. So focus the asks around um, the two to three pieces of legislation or buckets of legislation that you'll hear about in just a minute. So hopefully that makes sense. We're going to open the lines again. And if you have a question now before we open the lines, you're welcome to um, use the question uh, feature and go to webinar uh, in that control panel. It's usually a long rectangular box on the right side of your screen. Sometimes it's on the left. Um, but open that up. There's a little tri triangle um, pointing to the right. Open that up and feel free to ask questions about that now if you have questions. Again, we're really just wanting to say, like, we want this to be valuable for you, and we know it's a big investment to get there. Um, and we just ask that moms focus on maternal child health, um, mental health, physical health, those kinds of things. So next question, I'm worried about the cost of Mom Congress. The hotel is not cheap. Uh, even though we've got a discounted rate that's pretty good um, at this great hotel that we'll be at for our, our um, daily activities, all of the training, the opening night foray, everything's based in the hotel just to keep it convenient. Um, so I'm worried about cost. What can I do? Hotel's not cheap. My flight might be $200 or more, my train ticket. Um, how can I get there? And so what we're sharing here again is if you want to get there, we want to help you. Um, and we'll figure out a way together. I know Crystal's on the line right now and her email is here. Um, we also have a a letter that we're encouraging people to download. I'm going to show it to you right now on the website. Um, you can see here uh, financial assistance. So if you click on financial assistance up here, you will see that there's a letter to download and share with potential sponsors in your community. So we're all trying to get creative. Um, there isn't a scholarship fund this year. We hope that will change and that there will be sponsors that fund the scholarship fund next year as we continue to grow. Um, but there's a letter here that everyone can um, download 
and bring to local community partners or corporations that support moms in your community uh, and ask for sponsorship. So the donation for sponsorship actually comes to Mom Congress or 2020 Mom Host Organization, and then we write off your expenses. Um, let's see, did it not pop up? It's look at your Windows thing down at the bottom. It's blinking your Windows because it's it's because your um, screen is open for the webinar. All right. Well, John is so sophisticated that it's I don't even see where it's blinking. But oh, there we go. Open down at the very bottom. Nope, it's that's not here. There you go. Nope, the Windows. The bottom. Yep. And then a power. Right there. John's saying right there. Thank you, John. Is that it? <laughs> no, it was the Windows I button. But that's okay. You all should be able to download that letter and let me know if you download it, if you're having trouble. Um, there's a great letter there. And so we'll figure out if there's some kind of glitch on our end. But for whatever reason, it's not seeming to open for me. Um, great. We'll, we'll figure out what's going on. If anyone can try that and put it in the question um, feature for us, if you're able to open it, we'd love to see if anyone's having trouble opening that that letter. Again, download this letter. You can see it on my screen. Click on that link and it should just pop open. We know some people are already using it, but something's happening on my end here. No, it, it's so, because you have the webinar open, Jill. So your your webinar takes precedence over anything on your computer. So it's not opening. It's there. It's open. So when you close this webinar, it'll be there. Yeah. Okay, great. Good. Well, hopefully you all can see it as well. Thanks, thanks John. Um, so let's mm -hmm. keep going. We also wanted to share like what is included with the registration? That's a question. Um, so you may have seen, some of you may have seen that we had a higher price point earlier and wanted to reduce the price point based off of some feedback from moms that they really want to come, but it seems high and also what's included. So we reduced the registration rate um, and 140 is the, the price. Early bird is 120. So it ends March 31st, early bird. Um, we also will give all of you a discount code. If you haven't already registered today, you can just email me, joy at 2020mom.org, and we'll send you the discount code. Um, there are various discount codes that our partner organizations are promoting as well. If you don't have one handy, I will send you one. So essentially, if you register before March 31st, you can get here for under $100. And this is what's included, really, um, just about every meal. For the three days starting uh, in the evening, we have an opening night reception and soiree um, that includes a cocktail hour. There's also going to be non-alcoholic drinks. It's Cinco de Mayo, so we're planning on um, a margarita and beer and wine and a non-alcoholic festive drink uh, and also some appetizers uh, that are Cinco de Mayo themed. It's going to be a really fun night and a great program that's shaping up if you haven't poked around on the agenda yet. Um, you'll want to. And the next morning, we have breakfast and snacks all day, including um, a lunch, the sort of a Southern-themed lunch. Um, we don't have dinner covered that night, but we know people, if they're coming to D.C., are going to want to go out and explore. There is one optional dinner buy-up that's a reasonably um, priced point that will be up on the website earlier uh, or early next week, and it's a workshop that... Uh, uh, is being hosted by a boutique brand, um, WellSeek, that includes um, uh, how to care for yourself so you can be the best mom possible. So a dinner and a workshop, they found a great location. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's just $25. So if you want a place to go and not have to figure out uh, what to explore in D.C., that option's available to just $25, which is probably what you pay for a nice dinner out anyway, and you get a workshop. Um, the next Day, which is the Hill Day, is uh, breakfast, and we have a briefing, um, a congressional briefing, which is really pretty cool, where congressional members um, will get to hear a briefing panel that we host with various speakers. Um, that lunch is included even for con Congress members, a box lunch. And then um, Tuesday, if you can stay, we know some people will want to get home. If you can stay later, we're going to have a cocktail awards reception that night, and we're inviting legislators to join us for that reception. So quite a bit of food, right? But if in total, if you paid for all these things on your own, it would be more than the registration rate. Um, and then we also have the stainless steel mugs for those who uh, 
uh, are among the first two in their state to register. I'm going to show you that mug because it's so cute. It's right there, right? Um, and that will come in handy, I think, for the full three days. People will probably use those. Um, that's what's included. And then, of course, great speakers, um, a really uh, great um, inspirational speakers and of course the training we've already talked about you can see here the speakers that we have um, we have listed are um, pretty pretty remarkable the the New Jersey First Lady we have Christy Turlington Burns from Every Mother Counts I know some of you on the line are watching know Christy well um, and several other speakers in, in the lineup Gle uh, Judge Glenda Hatchett who um, is a TV personality, but also lost her daughter-in-law to childbirth in Los Angeles at a well-known hospital, a preventable death, everyone believes, will be speaking on that congressional panel. So lots of things included. Um, let's just go through a few more frequently asked questions, and then we're going to open up the line. We also have here um, that there are extra costs potentially like parking, you know, we don't include travel from the hotel or train station. Um, everything's within walking distance, essentially, if you take the train and um, the congressional office is within walking distance. We also mentioned a corner bakery is just right around the corner from the hotel. There's a restaurant in the hotel or adjacent to the hotel. So um, pretty easy. There's also a great shopping area, Union Station, caddy corner from the hotel. You just walk diagonally from the hotel entrance and there's a mall like great shops and um, sit down restaurants and also little counter served restaurants um, and kind of nice just to have some mom time to walk around by yourself or even with your kids if you're going to bring kiddos um, young kiddos somebody's saying i'm asking for mom congress for mother's day um, so we say bravo and if you can pull that off because it is a little pricey we think that's a great idea uh, to ask for mom Congress for a Mother's Day gift, especially if you've been through a horrible experience like you deserve this and don't be shy to ask for you know support from from friends and family. Um, what yeah. else where? Yeah, John, do you want to comment on that? Well, I just I love that idea of of we tend to not think of things like this as a as a gift, you know, or like asking for it for ourselves from our partners or like, you know, this is really what I want for Mother's Day because, you know, if it, there's one thing I just, I feel the need to say and, and it is that um, I think that we're disconnected more than we ever have been before because of social media. Before social media, we often got together in person for, you know, like I think about for myself, my local birth network here in San Diego, we used to get together every month. And we would chat and we would talk and these were these were women that had, you know, my same drive and love for for birth and pregnancy and women and, you know, all these things. And um, and and that has dissipated since social media. And I think we're all really feeling this um, deep desire to connect again. And this is such a great opportunity to do that. Um, when you're, I know that each time I'm tired when we're, when, when we go to events like this, but I'm also, my cup is just filled from that intimate connection with other people who are really passionate about, um, making birth better for moms. And so, you know, I think it's a gift to yourself to be able to attend something like this. And it's not only are you doing something for yourself and connecting, but you're now also doing, trying to make a change. So it's like a, you know, for me, it's a two for one, you know? Yeah, that's beautiful, Dawn. Thank you. And it really is. And I, I think, you know, you even hit on when you get to travel or walk around the hills of Capitol or the halls, excuse me, of Capitol Hill. Um, yeah. There's something special, like you get to connect. And I know, Millie, you're on yeah. the line and you remember just, just having that downtime that, that's really kind of fun and powerful. Um, and to get mm -hmm. to know people even in that sense is really, is just so meaningful. Um, thank you for that, Don. You said it so beautifully, as you always do. Um, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll circle back. It sort of hits on the sort of fun aspect and social aspect, too. It's like, what do I pack and wear, right? Uh, we always care about that. I want to make sure I'm dressed uh, appropriately, not overdressed, underdressed, and 
how do I pack? Um, so Sunday night is fun and festive, and we're saying, you know, Cinco de Mayo, so you might wear something kind of Latin or flowery. Um, where you can wear jeans and a cute top or a beautiful dress, whatever you want to. It'll be um, fun and casual, but I think we'll see um, festive, right? Um, but comfortable. So we know some people will just be coming off the, the plane and like rolling in. Um, so, you know, consider jeans and a little top. Um, that you traveled in. That's fine. Monday is casual. Um, we're suggesting something like pants or jeans and a cute top again. You can wear a blazer or a little scarf if it you know, might get chilly in the conference room and flats. Um, Tuesday, this is when we really do want you to, if you want to dress up a little bit more, it's Tuesday for our, our meetings. Um, a blazer, nice pants or a skirt, we say get your walking shoes on, whatever those look like. You don't want to wear heels. We sort of joke about the video that's on social media um, that shows a woman walking up the Capitol steps in heels. That, that's all we could find um, for a video. But you wouldn't want to wear those for, for you know, real. You would not want to wear those um, fancy heels, and it's not necessary or practical. Um, so you can if you really want to, but bring some flats as well. Um, and we do a lot of walking, so definitely little socks or some kind of liners for your shoes so you, you don't get blisters. Monday night, um, the night before the Hill Day, we're going to do a PJ movie night. Um, I think, Crystal, I don't know if we put it up yet, but if we haven't, we've got some fun movies that we're suggesting in social media in the group, um, not the big Facebook page. So if you haven't joined the, the social media page on Facebook, that's the group. Um, you can cast your vote or suggest another movie and we're going to do PJs. So I'm actually going to buy myself a new pair of PJs instead of wearing the holy ones that I'm actually wearing right now that have donuts on them. I'm not going to wear these and <laughs> get myself a new pair of pajamas. <laughs> so that's what we want you to hear about. Um, we're going to um, show you one last thing and then open up the line. You might be saying like, well, okay, what exactly? Are there already bills that have been introduced that we're going to advocate for? There's a um, link here on the website if you're looking at my screen um, that says what we're advocating for and actually Monday is our large planning call uh, and we actually invite any of you if you're interested in like sort of listening into this big amazing coalition of these nonprofits and boutique brands and influencers all of us are on doing this great work together if you want to join us we would welcome you and, and actually there's a few things we still need help with uh, email me again, joy at 2020mom.org, if you're interested. Um, but we're, what we're calling this sort of bill package that we're advocating for, which will include a couple of live asks. So we're going to say when we meet with legislators, you know, these three things, two or three things are critically important to us. We'll also have a list of bills that we support. You can see some of these here on the screen um, about um, VA facilities and women's health around maternity care. We totally, of course, support this work and want to get these bill members in front of legislators too. This will be on a handout. There's also a diaper need bill about making sure low-income women have access to, to um, free diapers. If they aren't, uh, there's research that shows the diaper need link to depression. And if they're not able to care for their babies and clean diapers, right? There's, there's a lot of important bills that we want to promote. On Monday, we're going to start to address at the large group planning call what bills exactly we want to support. And because of the government shutdown and the election year, things are coming in much um, later than they normally would. So this, this ask will change. And this sheet that you see now um, will be updated real, real time. But you can see here, still maternal mortality and quality measures. We know that hospitals and, and the federal association or the federal agency rather that oversees hospitals that receive federal dollars can do a lot more to prevent death and that's important to us. We're going to advocate hard for those changes. Um, there's also disparities among African-American women and we're seeing much higher um, infant and mother um, mortality rates, maternal mortality rates, death rates. Um, in African-American populations, and all of us believe that that is absolutely unacceptable. Um, there's bills that are going to be addressing that. John, I'd love for you to just quickly touch on um, the evidence-based care bills that are also likely to be introduced from Roybal Allard's office that we're going to be seeing. Yeah. 
Right, which is, you know, why we're here. Um, uh, these are two bills that are currently, co uh, you know, just drafts right now, but we're hoping they're going to be, the, the goal is that they'll be introduced just before our event. Um, but essentially, there are two different mom bills, um, maternity providers for maximizing optimal maternity outcomes. And if you actually, if you look up um, Roybal Allard and uh, maternity care, you'll find the previous documents that were out there. But it essentially is in, in requiring that we, that we um, well, there's two things, that we improve the amount of providers, maternity care providers, and do some funding to help um, essentially gather more, more providers, and specifically probably midwives, um, to fill the gaps in care. And then the other one is best evidence for maximizing optimal maternity services. Um, this is going to establish a committee um, that is focused on women's health and expand, enhance, and ensure the coordination of federal programs that impact maternal health, maternal and infant health. So these will be, you know, ideally this is this is something that will get behind um, the mother-friendly hospital accreditation program um, and and or programs like it that will essentially give give facilities program um, funding to improve their outcomes and improve their um, evidence-based care uh, processes within the hospital system. That's great. Thanks, Dawn. Um, we also yeah. want folks to know there is a maternal mental health bill, which we know many of you have passion about that's brewing um, as well. And we should have more information in the next two weeks. And if anyone wants m more insight about that bill, I'll tell you offline. Um, you can email me again, joy at 2020mom.org. One last thing we wanted to share is that we are doing a three for one um, promotion, I guess. It sounds like we're selling something. I guess we are, but it sounds uh, like we're not talking about a conference, but basically because we want mothers here and mothers who you know have a fire in their belly, we are actually um, inviting all of you uh, today and anyone else, especially those who've already registered, if you can bring in three more mothers and they use your name when they fill out the registration form as the, the person who referred them, there'll be a comp seat that you can take. So we would reimburse you for that seat that you already paid for, or um, we will we will use it to bring a low-income mother to D.C. So we've got a few low-income mothers who have expressed interest. Again, we don't have a scholarship fund right now, um, but but some folks are registering three mothers or encouraging three mothers to register, and they're using um, that person's name as a referral source and then donating that free space to a low-income mother. You can do that. There's There's no reason why you couldn't also just ask for a reimbursement. All of this is um, really important. So we're just encouraging you to get involved in recruiting moms. Um, I'm gonna show you that there is a, a list here. It says, help us find moms. Um, Crystal's on the line. I don't think we've updated it yet today. Um, and new registrations come in every day, as you know. Um, but it will show you, if we were to look like Congress and have the same number of seats available, as Congress does, sort of the same proportion, right? So depending on population, you'd see Alabama would have four moms and we have um, four seats that we'd ideally fill, fill from Alabama, but we don't have any Alabama moms. You can see Alaska, want, we need one mom, but we don't have someone from Alaska registered yet. Arizona, four, no one from Arizona. California, 20, we have 12 people registered so far. Connecticut, we've got two out of the three. So we really um, would love your help scrolling through this list again, help us find moms. Um, we'll update it again um, uh, real time on, I think Crystal, we're aiming to try to do it by like noon every day, um, but do take a look at this help, help us find moms link on the website. Um, and then finally, we wanna remind you that we've got social media platforms launched. Um, not just on Facebook, um, but also we are on Twitter and Instagram. So please uh, see, see these links and find us and follow and share um, 
again, we're really looking to all of you as leaders in this space to help recruit. Um, I'm going to open the lines now. We'd love for all of you, if anyone has questions, I see Paige and Marion and um, Millie, you've been with us before, um, but several others, um, uh, Casey, if you have questions. So here we go. I'm unmuting all of you. Give me a second. And if anyone has more questions or just wants to talk about what they're excited about, um, we would love for you to, to let us know. Um, so good, you're all unmuted. Hopefully you don't hear any background noise. All right, there we go. Is it working? Unmute. All right, I'm gonna manually unmute you all because it will not let me um, do it, it looks like. so. If you have um, muted yourself manually, you'll have to unmute yourself. But I am, um, Ka uh, Casey, if you want to unmute yourself, you can. Or talk right now, your mic is open. Um, several of you are self-muted, it looks like. That's why we're having trouble. Probably have kiddos in the background. If you want to unmute your line, you can do it in the control panel. Um, also, feel free to use that question feature right now. If anyone has questions, how do you feel about today? Um, and was this helpful? If you don't have a question, was this helpful? So again, use the question feature of the GoToWebinar control panel. And then several of you are, um, are self-muted. You can unmute yourself if you'd like. I think we might be in good shape here. There we go, Hello. everybody, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Hi, everybody. Tell us what you think. Any other questions you have? How are you feeling? Um, well, my name, I'm Marianne. I'm from Michigan. And it was interesting to see, yeah. like, the breakdown that you actually want. You want to mimic, like, the Congress. I didn't I didn't realize that that was a goal. So I will um, do my best to recruit from Michigan. Great. I'm pulling that up again. Thanks, Marianne. That would be great. Are you um, Are you registered yet? I am not, I need to, I just need, I just need to. <laughs> yeah, right, I know, right. That's where all of us are, just sort of matter of time. Um, yeah. That's awesome, Marianne, great. We're so excited that you will be registering. And um, yeah, we wanted to share this list because we know it does sort of help everyone to, to see like, where do we need more moms? Um, and the goal of course is because all of these, these, you know, every state of course has representatives that will vote. And so the more we can get moms in their, their district, right? Um, their constituents is what we call, what, what Congress calls um, people who live in their districts, the areas they support, the easier it is to get them to vote yes in support of this work. So thank you for pointing that out, that this is helpful and, and you can use it to, to bring more moms in. That's awesome, thanks Marianne. Let's see, who else do we have? Anyone else brave enough to unmute their line and ask a question? This is Casey. I don't have a question, um, but I want to echo Mary Ann's sentiment on the layout of moms from each state. I'm in Ohio, and I was kind of wondering if there was anyone else from Ohio that was going to join me. <laughs> so that's good to see. Yeah. Well, let me see. There we are. Ohio. So we've got eight people. Yeah, Ohio's like a bigger population than you would think. And then that must be you who's already re registered, Casey, right there, the number one. No, I uh, haven't registered yet, but like. Oh, you've got a partner in crime then. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so one other thing we'll just share before we wrap up is that even if, um, even if there's two of you from Ohio, you're, you'll still have a team lead and you'll probably be, you probably put like three states together um, when you do your congressional meetings. So you're always going to be well cared for and like again supported and you won't be doing this alone um with, you'll have that great team leader who's done this work before we've got several great team leaders already identified and uh and uh, as soon as we've got that bill package locked down we'll start to do our training with them so um so glad you attended casey you too Great, so I'm glad this list is, is helpful. Um, anyone else feel like they wanna share anything before we wrap up? You can mute your own phone lines, or unmute, excuse me, your own phone lines. And um, Paige, do you, do you if, oh, 
page just raised a question in the co control panel. Let me just pull that up. Great. Um, oh, good. Paige is saying that she loved the information on the dress code and the effort to make the whole event seem very approachable. Oh, good. Thank you, Paige. That's the goal. Uh, and we appreciate your feedback on that. And just don't want anyone to be shy. That Facebook group, you know, most of us are on Facebook, is really used for anything that you want to ask questions about. You know, the, the main page you can do, you use that too, but really the the group is intimate and there's no silly question. You can email me at any time, joy at 2020mom.org, um, dawn.thompson with an H at improvingbirth.org. Uh, we're both here to support you and a crystal on our team. Her information's on the FAQ if you want to um, outreach Crystal about her financial support. Um, we're really interested. Here's Crystal's email in supporting all moms and all, you know, moms from all walks of life. Um, so thank you all for, for joining us today. And those who are listening to the recording retrospectively, this will be up on our website, the recording and posted in social media. Um, this weekend likely, but for sure by Monday. So take a look uh, and share the recording if you think it's helpful with anyone that's on the fence. With that, I think we'll wrap up. Dawn, thanks for joining me today and everyone for taking time out of your busy day. Um, it's going to be a great event. We can't wait to see you. Dawn, thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk soon and can't wait to see you in D.C.